Justin Rutherford. My major is international relations. Uh, I grew up in Orange County, California. Uh, so the regular season was eight games, um, local Northeast teams. Uh, basically, we had to win every game. Um, and it actually came down to the only game we did lose was against uh, URI. And we ended up facing them in the final. We were number two and they were number one uh, for the Northeast Championship. So uh, that was a big game for us. And of course, we ended up winning uh, to become the Northeast champions. Uh, but it was very difficult. Every game, not a single game we played was was by any means, you know, a walk in the park. Every team offered a, a different challenge, a different sort of way of playing the game that forced us to kind of develop as a team um, in multiple facets, so. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a sacrifice. I mean, we train five days a week, Monday through Friday, every single night, um, and then games on Saturdays. And after a game on Saturday, Sunday is, is a pretty heavy recovery day. I mean, your, your body's pretty much exhausted after 80 minutes of rugby. Um, and then you get back up and you do it again for another week. Uh, and after we, we, we start the season off with a, um, with a one week long sort of uh, hell week, I guess you could call it, uh, where we train three days a week, or sorry, three, three times a day for a week, um, going over everything that, you know, from um, contact drills to technical stuff to conditioning um, and that's usually a week or two before the fall semester uh, we've done that for the last three years uh, and it's really it's something that the the club has started recently and it's really shown to have a lot of success throughout the season uh, we're one of the few teams that really uh, is able to push through physically all the way through the end of the season um, and that's something that's we've it's really just developed over the last three years, and it's one of the accomplishments I think that the club can be most proud of. <clears throat> We've been afforded a lot of um, sort of leeway, I guess you could say. Technically, club sports aren't allowed to operate during the summer, but because we do like the summer camp, um, they allow us that. And um, practice times before and after semesters were, you know, uh, they're usually pretty convenient with in that regard. Uh, one of the difficulties that we tend to face is financially, uh, it takes a lot to get 50 guys on the field, you know, week in and week out, not only just in training gear, but um, travel expenses, coaching. Um, rugby is a very technical sport and it requires expertise on a lot of different areas. It's not something that one coach can teach everybody everything. Um, and so we have a lot of specialty coaches that will come in. Um, and Thankfully, this, this club has been supported almost entirely by alumni donations. Um, our friends account, is what it's called, is, is always well stocked and the alumni are very supportive. Um, I'm very proud of, of the work we've done over the last four years. Uh, going from a team that was 0-5 in 2009 to the Northeast Champions four years later is, is something that we're very proud of. Um, and so. The limitations certainly are there, but uh, you know we haven't allowed that to sort of hamper what it is we're trying to do. I, I could have graduated last fall, um, but because we won the Northeast Championship, we were eligible for the national tournament in the spring. Um, and in order to remain eligible to play in club sports here at BU, I had to be enrolled in at least part-time classes. Um, and so I paid f to be a part-time student to play rugby to finish out the semester. Um, and there's another player that's doing the exact same thing. So um, it's a sacrifice that I didn't even think twice about making. It's, it's a bit of a financial burden, but I, I, I realize that and um, I don't mind taking it on. No, I mean, obviously, like everyone graduating, I'm looking for a job. Um, and so uh, I do have a part-time job at the moment, and um, which is fine. It's been able to supplement my income for the time being. Uh, but in terms of these last, since January, just sacrificing, you know, five nights a week training, um, it, it, it does get a little, dif little bit difficult and it can be frustrating at times. But um, I, didn't, I didn't go into this, you know, having to sacrifice more than time, which I was perfectly willing to do. 
three three of our key players originally. Um, one who graduated and had to move back to Switzerland, um, and two others who are abroad in London this semester. Uh, all three were starting players, very um, key to the program, have been around for the last three years, um, very influential players on the field. Uh, and unfortunately, it, rugby is the kind of sport where injuries happen all the time, and we've already lost another couple players due to injury, uh, a few broken bones and some muscle strains and things like that. But um, that's that's one of the beauties of the sport is is uh, you know you've got thirty plus guys that once if one guy goes down someone else just steps up and and uh, fills the role.